Hello, everybody. Happy to be here. Thank you, Clark, for that sweet introduction. Um, I'm not going to talk too much right off the bat because I'm going to start off with a clip of the documentary film I made, The Vertigris in Search of Will Rogers. So um, this is about a three minute clip. It's the very beginning. So check it out and I'll be back in a second. His words, His hurt, words none, hurt none, but brought enjoyment to, to millions. At Claremore, At Claremore Oklahoma, Oklahoma, state of his state birth, of his birth stands, the stands the impressive tomb, tomb of Will Rogers. Will Rogers. Here sleeps a simple, simple, kindly, man, kindly man who gave America, who gave America so, much, so of much of her laughter. And at the Capitol, at the Capitol in Washington, in Washington D.C., Mrs. Sally McSally McSatter of the famed humorist, humorist unveiled, unveiled his bronze likeness in sanctuary hall. The country's highest tribute. Will Rogers, Will Rogers had joined, had joined America's, America's immortals, immortals in the nation, in the nation's hall of fame. Hall of fame. My name is my Bo name Jennings, is Bo Jennings and, Will Rogers, and Will Rogers is my hero. Is my hero. He has been he ever, has since, been I ever since I was a young boy. People often People ask often me what, ask it, is what it is about Will that makes him so inspirational, so inspirational to me. And I've always, and I've wondered, always what wondered what it was myself. What it was myself. I decided, I decided to write these to write songs, about, songs Will, about Will and sing them, and while, sing I them while I retrace his footsteps, footsteps to help me find, to help out, me find why. out why. So that's, uh, that's probably the best intro I could uh, think to give for my project. Um, but I'll tell you a little bit more about it before I play a song. Uh, the Vertigris is the name of a river that runs through northeast Oklahoma. And it runs through Will Rogers' hometown of Ulaga, And it also runs through my hometown of Inola. So I saw that as, you, you know, like a, it was, it was a physical connector, but it was also a, uh, a, a figurative connection between myself and Will. And once I chose that title, it gave me a lot of direction and um, guidance on how to, how to pursue the project further. But I ended up traveling to a number of locations around the US from all up and down the Midwest, from New York to Alaska to retrace Will's footsteps, visit places where he lived, where he worked, where he entertained. And um, I took original songs that I wrote to each location and performed them on the spot. So I'll play um, the title track for you, which is a, uh, I, I guess it's best summed up as an imagined conversation between myself and Will. <clears throat> Well, I grew up on the river, I'm eating too. 
gotta feel the waves start to speak. Used to ask all kinds of questions, now I just believe. But I used to be fluent, used to roll off my lips. Now the only thing wrong is the burger grips. Very much. Okay, so uh, now we're going to watch another clip, about uh, three minutes long. So uh, check it out. It was important for me to visit this house as an important location in Will Rogers' life. You know, I have a family now. I have a wife and a kid, and um, you know, I have a. I, I definitely have a domestic side of my life that uh, you know I'm learning to balance with my professional and, and also creative side. Um, so I, I guess there's an element of uh, being here and experiencing um, what Will had is kind of like his domestic refuge, getting a sense of what goes on here or what went on here. You know, I, I guess I can relate to, to a, a place like this. One of the things that struck me when I first saw it was his, his pair of cowboy boots at the end of the bed. I, I kind of had, I guess, like a, uh, a visceral reaction to that. I, I don't know how else to explain it, but uh, it was cool to say the least. And then you walk around the house and uh, you see other stuff. You see his magazines that, that he flipped through. You have the piano still here in the living room that Will Rogers' family played. You have the banjo that Will bought at the train station in Ulaga when, uh, when he first met his soon-to-be wife, Betty. So there's, you know, there's a connection not only through music and the notes and vibrations, but also through the physical instruments. sure if I'd be allowed to play on Will's piano. When I arrived, I was told it was too delicate to touch and probably out of tune. 
I asked the curator if I could at least sit at the piano, and she agreed. Once I did, she was curious how it sounded and asked me to play a chord. First I hear the piano start to play, then I hear bare feet coming up the stairs. I close my eyes and I set up the boots, when I open my eyes the boots aren't there. I hear a typewriter key start striking, I hear the back door open, horses outside waiting. Walk over to the desk and I see a new page, I read the first line and I start shaking. 75 years later, and the piano was still in tune. All right, so that's a, that's a taste of what's, of what's in the documentary. It's, it's a full-length documentary that's been airing on uh, public television lately. So look for it if you uh, own a television. Uh, when I started this project, I was playing in a rock and roll band in New York, in Brooklyn. And this was probably 2005 or six. And we started to work on our new record, and we're, we were all uh, guys from Oklahoma. And we were looking for things to write about because uh, New York City is a, uh, it's a competitive place, and it kind of forces you to, I guess, look for things to, that help define you um, uh, against everybody else. So I, I started digging into Oklahoma, my Oklahoma roots. Uh, in Oklahoma history. And as I did more research and looked for more and more interesting things to write about, I, Will Rogers kept popping up and I thought, oh yeah, that's that guy that I knew all about when I was a kid. How, 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 how could I have forgotten so much about him? So I really started to dig into Will Rogers' history and what, what that meant and I learned how pervasive he was and how popular he was and influential he was. And there's a lot of common information about him out there, but there's also um, lots of misinformation. But one thing I really wanted to try and do is find out what made him tick. And um, sometimes that can be hard. But uh, I think one thing that, was, um, that meant a whole lot to him was his relationship with his mother, who passed away when he was very young. So I, uh, I, did, you know, I did some reading and tried to find out what little I could about Will and what he said about his mother, and I took those few things and, and wrote this song. Mama, every lasso that I've ever spun Mama, every 
story that I've ever told has to end like it began with your observable. Thanks, guys.